Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, I hope that you are doing well. I am doing pretty good, thank you for asking. Um, I hope that you have been enjoying this segment um, of um, My Name is Etiquette and I Am Not Dead. Um, we're coming today with um, There Should Never Ever Be a Time When You Blow Your Nose at the Dinner Table, whether you're at the dinner table at home or out in restaurants. I see this so many times. I mean, I don't even think that there's one time that, and my family knows this because we're always like, there, here it comes or something like that. Someone will pull out their handkerchief or no, normally it's handkerchief. So, so you know the age and the stage of the person. Um, a handkerchief or a tissue or something. And they blow their nose at the dinner table after they've eaten their meal or whatever. And it's like, what? Are you serious? You know, and it's and I, of course everybody doesn't know you have to bring these things to people's attention or something, and nobody has ever brought this to different people's attention because I mean it, it almost every time. Now of course we haven't been eating out, but every since it's like almost every single time we have gone out to dinner, there has been one or some you know event where you know you're sitting, you know you're having dinner or having having a meal there has not been a person that has not and it's mostly male i've not i don't think i've seen a woman do it but there's definitely going to be a male in the picture i should have got pictures because it might be the same male <laughs> but anyway they take out their handkerchief and blow their nose at the dinner table it's like yuck you know you don't do that people are people around you are eating nobody wants to be biting into something at the same time you are blowing your nose imagine that no don't imagine it it's okay sorry you know which is really nauseating very 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 gross you know it's just not an experience you you know a dining experience you want to have so please never do that don't do it at home don't do it out in restaurants it is so unacceptable uh so unacceptable but don't do it at home excuse yourself from the dinner table go to the restroom go into a hall or go outside and blow your nose because the thing you must do after you blow your nose i mean because sometimes you blow your nose you're on a train you might have to you just have to i mean it's a bodily function you there's things that we just cannot control uh regarding our bodies you know what i'm saying so what we do is uh we you know say excuse me like if i'm gonna blow my nose on a train um on a uh, train platform while I'm outside the train or inside of a train, I'm going to, you know, look around and just say, excuse me. They may hear it. They may not hear it. But I say, excuse me, and I can blow my nose and just, you know, discard my uh, tissues in a bag or something like that. Keep it, you know, inside of something. Then normally what I would do, I would take out like uh, one of my wet wipes. I, you know, have the individual size packages and you clean your hands off because you, you cannot uh, just blow your nose and not clean your hands. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you might not have that opportunity or that accessibility, but what you might have is hand sanitizer and or the wet wipes, like I mentioned. So, but when I've, we've seen this happen at restaurants, you know, never, the person never got up to wash their hands. And so they have, you know, on their hands, you know, so, so, I mean, if you go ahead and do it in the bathroom, you can wash your hands at the same time. So that is just one of the uh, tips that we wanted to bring to this segment today about blowing our nose. When is the appropriate time to blow our nose? And I mean, again, things happen. Sometimes there, we just can't help help it, and we cannot excuse ourselves away from the the public or the people that we are in the presence of. But always excuse yourself, meaning say it, not just leave, but ex say excuse me. Let people know, excuse me, I'm sorry, or whatever, and then you know, maybe even afterward. I mean, these things, you might, people might say, oh, that's too much, or whatever. No, it's not, okay? Because we are modeling, and we are teaching, and we are letting people know these things are inappropriate to do in the public. They are just inappropriate. And that's we have, we have gotten away from, and that's why everything and anything can be done in the public. I mean, you know, people are wearing, you know, they, 
I don't know if this woman will ever see this video, but I know a person who in their workplace, like for their keys, their bangle, their, their uh, you know, key ring, they keep it on their bra strap, meaning that their bra strap and their, you know, is exposed because they, they you know, tuck the shirt out of the way, pull the bra strap out and clip those, that set of key rings to their uh, bra strap. You know, not knowing how inappropriate that is. I mean, and then this person, they have children, you know, you have a daughter, you have a daughter. So what is your daughter walking around looking like when you are having, you know, in the public, in your public workplace, not just the public, workplace your bra strap is exposed with a set of keys on it you know and these are the things you know that that we need to discuss and you know have a conversation with our with our family members and with friends you know have it with people again have it with them and you we model it you know it's really unbelievable and that's how what people can walk around with their pants sagging down with their smelly little underwear showing you know and girls wearing different uh have you know showing their you know their bra you know their underwear for a reason their underwear there should not be it should be a, a sense of modesty and protection about your body and about your the clothing that you wear underneath and about the clothing that's on the out, outside you know what i'm saying so but yeah when i see young men if i if you know of course it's a prayerful thing if i can approach them i'll say honey pull your, your pull your pants up or i'll make a joke about it hey baby your pants are falling down you know and so on they'll throw it pull it they'll look and see see me see who's saying it and they'll pull it you know nicely pull their pants up oh, i'm sorry you know or something like that you know but some of them you cannot approach you know but but there are some you can approach which you are letting them know that it's not an appropriate thing my sons because sagging was out when my uh, start started uh was that in the 90s? I think it kind of started out, yeah, because I remember that Criss Cross them started that saggy, sag, you know, I remember that time. So in the 90s, so my children are still, well, my sons were still young at that time. So they, but they never, I, they, they were taught that and it just didn't sit with them. So they never liked it, you know what I mean? So thank God that that was one thing that they not, they had not, uh, 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 drifted toward or whatever so they never sagged or anything like that they always wore a belt uh when they could yet if they didn't they knew, still knew you know how to fix their pants so that their pants would not fall down if 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 or whatever but yeah but they didn't uh thank god that they didn't pick up that habit but yeah but with some you can speak to about it and some you cannot but you got to let them know this is inappropriate it's not an appropriate behavior for your pants to be down and your underwear to be showing in the public like this what is really going on but anyway i digress this was a uh segment regarding um but you always will get two or three or four anyway. But it was, was definitely a segment regarding blowing our nose, noses in the public and how to excuse ourselves uh, from uh, the for the public's sake and whatnot. And, and uh, definitely we do not blow our nose, and not necessarily in the public, but what I mean is we do not blow our nose at dinner tables. At no time should we do that. And when we blow our nose, we should always cleanse our hands as much as possible all right this is um my name is etiquette and i am not dead and i thank you so much for watching bye bye for now